So I had me. <laughs> so I had me get how you. <laughs> how you doing? How's it going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Excited to say I saw you at rehearsal. Thank you. You had some very fancy footwork. Huh? Like that it, I'm all right. Thing. Yeah, I'm you all right. pretty good. I feel like you're getting better with it. You practice? Uh, you, we have to. We I have think to. that's, you know why? Because, um, I mean, I'm, I'm human, so I get nervous, you know? Do you? But yeah, absolutely, I do. I do have my moments. More anxiety, you know, okay. more anxious, I think. Right. But um, just for those moments where... You know, things may be kind of going out of, not not be going according to plan. Uh -huh. You know, I, I definitely like to rehearse and practice a lot. So, you know, hopefully I'm getting better. Hopefully it yeah, shows you, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does. You seem, yeah. but you just seem a little bit more um, comfortable on stage. Uh, thank you. Thank so you. So, what do we have going on musically right now? As far as the the album goes, you know, we're working on the next single. It's coming. So, thanks to everyone who's been showing love to Adorn. You know, that song's been kind of going steady people, all year. Yeah, it's like no yeah. one, it's not getting old to people. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Uh, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But um. We have more music coming, so if you haven't got the album, there's plenty of great music behind Adorn um, that, that you're, you're going to want to discover for yourself. I, I promise you won't be disappointed. And um, I, I'm just excited to take the music on the road. We're going on the Chapter 5 tour with Trey Songs. I'm bringing the Kaleidoscope Dream Experience, my band, my lights, El Varner supporting. It's going to be the most dynamic, soulful show that you've seen in years. So um, I, I encourage everyone to come out and, and really experience it for yourself. It'll be something you won't, you won't forget. You know? okay. Let's talk about Soul Train Wars for a moment. Yeah. We're excited. I mean, you're yeah. performing, but who else are we excited to see? You know what? Um, I'm excited for the tribute, the Don yeah. Cornelius tribute. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. honestly, um, I'm always excited. You know, um, John Legend is performing, mm -hmm. um, which is a friend of mine. I had the pleasure of working with him. So shout out to John Legend. Um, who else is is performing? We've got new edition. New edition is being honored. It's, I mean, it's going to be yeah, a great it's night. Be a great show. All, all over, all okay. the way around. Yeah. Okay. Now I have to ask you. We saw see the beautiful girlfriend with us Absolutely, tonight. Yeah. And, and initially when you came out, we didn't know that you had a girlfriend, what was going on. What yeah. made you decide to, to be like, look, I have a girlfriend, we've been together, this is who she is. What made you decide to do that? It's interesting, like, you know, breaking as an artist, there's always this taboo about kind of keeping your real life private, private. especially as a male artist, though. Yeah. You know, it's like, do you tell them you have a woman? Do you yeah. not tell them? Because you don't no. want to lose your... <laughs> you know, what? at the end of the day, like, I... My music is so, I think my art is so real to me, it's hard to not just be completely upfront and honest about my whole lifestyle. And I think more than anything, it's, for me it's important for, for people to get to know me like that. Even though they can't really have the conversation with me, it's like my music and you know, things like this where I get to show my life and people kind of identify with that. So, and, and it's real hard to, I mean, you can't. Excuse yeah, me, yeah. excuse me, excuse me. Maybe. <laughs> We're talking about you. We're talking about you. Go ahead. So, so everyone, this is my woman. Her name is Nazanin. Hello. Yeah, she's an amazing artist, amazing model, but most of all, amazing woman. And uh, she holds me down. She's a G, so, you know. What, what do you love most about her? And I don't, just, I don't, one thing. Pay her patience. Her pa oh, really? Hands down. What, what, yeah. about, what, what do you like, what do you like least about him? <laughs> least? Yeah. That's not fair. His patience. <laughs> so you, I gotta work on that. His patience. I gotta work on that. How, how, how do you guys? <laughs> look how love is so cute. How do you guys keep it together? Because I know you travel a lot, and I know maybe you don't travel with him because you have your own career. I do. Um, you know, it's it's all about communication. You know, I have to know his schedule. He has to know mine, and we make it work. How do you, how do you stay secure? I know who I am as a woman, and I know what we have as you know in a relationship. And it's just unbreakable. Okay. You know, we've been together for seven years. And it's a lot of people's marriages. Exactly. And it's all about it's all about foundation. Okay. Yeah. It really is. Communication, foundation, and honesty. Okay. Yeah. You can talk. I didn't know that. You know, pretty girl can't talk I, I You know I can't keep stupid people. I'm sorry, I was about to say something real. Okay. Okay. Real, real candid. Okay. But I need I, I you know, she gotta she gotta be on her toes. I, uh, I definitely have a mind of my own. So. Okay. Yes. Last question, do we have New Year's resolutions? Separate together or anything like that? New Year's resolutions. Oh, wow. It's tough. I think I'm gonna wait till I get there to really reflect. Okay, what about you? Keep uh, bettering myself. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just overall.